One of the challenges that I believe we as Christians face, especially with everything that is going on in our nation and around the world, is that we've forgotten our citizenship is in heaven and not on earth. This morning in preparation for our time in the communion, I would like us to look at just one verse in the scriptures that reminds us of this very important truth. And it's found in Philippians chapter three. So if you have your Bibles, please turn to Philippians chapter three. The Apostle Paul wrote this letter to the church at Philippi while he was in prison at Rome. And in chapter three, he exhorts them to continue to press on towards the goal of knowing Jesus Christ. He also warns them, don't be like the false teachers who set their minds on earthly things, but you are to set your mind on heavenly things, the things above. And then he writes in Philippians 3.20, for our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also we eagerly wait for the Savior, for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Paul reminds these believers that their citizenship is not on earth, but in heaven. Heaven is where is the believer's birthplace. They are born from above. Heaven is where the believer's names are recorded in the book of life. Heaven is where we will go the moment that we leave our life on earth. Heaven is where we will spend the rest of eternity. Heaven is where the believer's inheritance is being kept. Heaven is where our treasures are that are being stored up. So for us as Christians, this world is not our home. It is only a temporary place of residence for a brief moment in time. Heaven is our home where we will spend the rest of eternity. Therefore, as the Apostle Paul puts, as the Apostle Peter puts it, we're simply aliens, strangers in a foreign land. We are expats. In this verse, Paul essentially is exhorting these believers not only to remember their citizenship, but to embrace it. They're to live out their citizenship, heavenly citizenship, while they're on earth. They are to reflect in their thoughts, their attitudes, their actions, their priorities, their values, that they are citizens of the kingdom of heaven and not earth. Now, when these believers in Philippi read Paul's words, for our citizenship is in heaven, they understood exactly what he was saying. See, the Philippians knew what it was like to be a citizen of one city, even though they are residing in another city. They knew what it meant to, be, uh, to live out one's citizenship in a foreign land. See, Philippi was a Roman colony in the province of Macedonia, which was about 600 miles away from Rome. It was a miniature reproduction of Rome. It was Rome away from Rome. The city functioned just like Rome. The residents observed all the custom, the practices, and, uh, and ceremonies of Rome. They, enjoyed, they were citizens of Rome and enjoyed the rights and privileges of being citizens. They took pride in the Roman citizenship and they were expected to behave, to act like Roman citizens. Their true citizenship was in Rome, even though they lived in Philippi. Just like the people in Philippi never forgot their true citizenship was in Rome and were to live it out, believers must never forget that they are citizens of heaven and to live as such. Christians, Believers, do you remember that you're a citizen of the kingdom of heaven? Do you remember that this world is not your home, but it's only a temporary place of residence? 
Does your attitude, does your words, does your actions, does your values reflect the fact that you are a citizen above and not a citizen of this world? You know, it's so easy for us to become so comfortable and so wrapped up with our life and with all that's going on in our country, in our world, that we've completely forgotten that our home is in heaven. We need to set our minds not on temporal things, but rather eternal things. We need to store up treasures not on earth, but in heaven. We need to live out our, the fact that we are only temporary residents here, but that our citizenship is in heaven. Now, remembering that our citizenship is in heaven should also remind us of the imminent return of our Lord from heaven. Notice what Paul writes at the end of verse 20, from which also we eagerly wait for a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Before Christ ascended up to heaven, he promised that he would prepare a place that he would one day return and to bring us to be with him. But until that day come, we are to to actively wait, not passively, but actively wait with great expectation for his return. The word eagerly wait is a very interesting word. He has the idea of being completely focused. Our attention is on that one thing to the extent that we lose sight of everything else. Now, when the Philippian believers read what Paul wrote, they again understood what he was saying. See, one of the highlights of a Roman colony was when the Roman emperor would come and visit their city. The citizens would anxiously await his arrival. They were continually occupied with the thoughts that he's going to be coming. And so they, their lives were so consumed with preparing for his arrival that they lost sight of other things. Just like the citizens in Philippi eagerly waited the arrival of the Roman emperor, believers are to anxiously wait for the return of their savior from heaven. We should be so focused, so absorbed with Christ's return that everything else just fades in the background. Are you looking forward with excitement to Christ's return from heaven? Do you long for his return? Do you think about it? Do you pray about his return? Are you so focused on his return that it transforms your perspective, your values, your priorities about the things in this world? The community time is a time for us as believers to remember that our citizenship is in heaven. Heaven is our home. Every time we eat the bread, we drink the cup, we affirm in our heart that we're citizens of heaven only by the grace of God. We're affirming that we're saved only by the work of Christ on the cross, paying for the penalty of our sins. If you're here this morning and you're a Christian, you've trusted Christ alone for your salvation, you're a citizen of heaven, then we invite you to join us in our time of remembering God's saving grace in our life. If you're here this morning and you haven't trusted in Christ to save you from your sins, then this time of remembering is not intended for you. What you need to understand is that none of us are born into this world as citizens of heaven. Every human being is born into the kingdom of this world as a sinner under the judgment of a holy God. And the only way that we can be saved from the penalty of our sin and to have forgiveness of our sin, eternal life, is by believing in Christ alone for salvation. By doing that, we become a child of God and a citizen of heaven. If you have any questions about eternal life, or becoming a citizen of heaven, please talk with the person that invited you or one of the pastors, elders in our church.
Before we participate in the communion time in remembering our Lord, we need to examine ourselves and to make sure that we're doing it in a manner worthy of our salvation. In other words, we need to make sure that our hearts are right before God by confessing our sins. In a moment, the gentlemen are going to come forward and pass around the tray that contains the communion elements. And we want to let you know that they're in a little new format and they are gluten-free. So um, after you receive the elements, when your heart is ready, please take them on your own. Gentlemen, please come forward.